Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. So in today's After Effects tutorial, we are going to start a new thing. From this tutorial onwards, we are going to start our logo reveal animation. So in that, we are going to today look at a liquid fill logo animation. First of all, let's preview that what we are going to create. So this is our logo reveal animation, which is a liquid logo fill. So let's see that how we are going to create it. First of all, we have to go to composition to create a new composition. Now uh, I'm going to name it liquid fill. You can keep a frame rate of 30 frames per second and a duration of five seconds for this composition. Then hit OK. After that, first of all, we are going to apply a background for our logo. So right click on the layer area and add a new solid layer. Name it as BG. Now go to effects and presets and search for an effect called gradient ramp. Apply it to your background layer. Change the ramp shape to a radial ramp. Change the start of ramp to 960 X coordinate and 540 as a Y coordinate. And increase the Y coordinate for the end of the ramp to around 2300 and so on. Now change the start color to a shade of blue, a lighter shade of blue like uh, this is what I like and for the end color choose a darker shade of blue. Now I'm happy with these colors. If you want you can use the same colors or any color of your choice you are free to use. Now once you're happy with your background layer you can just lock it. The next thing that I'm going to do is add a shape layer. Now this will be the basic layer which will be revealed as a logo animation. So I go to my shape tool and select an ellipse tool by pressing the Q key on my keyboard. Now click on the word fill and make sure it is set to a solid color. Hit OK and click on the word stroke and make sure that it is set to none and again hit OK. Now holding on the shift key draw a perfect circle. Once you're happy with your circle, make sure to align it to the center both horizontally and vertically as well. Now what we're going to do is go to the shape tool again and this time I'm going to choose a rectangle tool. Now uh, make sure that your fill is set to a solid color and make a rectangle that covers your circle completely or a slightly bigger than that is going to be okay. So this layer will be used to generate a liquid effect. For this, go to effects and presets and search for an effect called turbulent displace. Uh, you will find turbulent displace under this dot. Apply it onto your rectangle layer. Here we are going to apply some of the changes. Change the amount from 50 to an 80 and the size to an 80 again. Now, Drag your layer uh, to the bottom just like this. Then what we are going to do is move forward to about 10 frames in your animation. Keyframe the value of evolution at zero. Move forward to around two seconds when our animation is going to be complete and change the value of evolution to a 2x. So change the displacement from turbulent to twist. Now this is looking pretty good. Now what we're going to do is go back to the frame where uh, you keyframed your value of evolution. Go back to your shape layer 2 which is the rectangle layer. Press P on your keyboard to bring up position and keyframe the value of position to that particular place. Now move forward where the other keyframe for the evolution was there and increase the and decrease the value of Y coordinate such that it covers whole of your circle just like this. Now once you are happy with it, you can just come back to your shape layer 1 and change its track mat to alpha mat shape layer 2. Now if we just go back and preview our animation,
it is looking like this which is pretty cool so what we are going to do now is select both of our layers and pre-compose them together after that what we are going to do is go back to the very first frame in time select the pen tool make sure that none of your layers is selected click on the word fill and change its type back to none and for the stroke set a solid color keeping a stroke width of 18 points i will draw a straight line just like this from here to the point where um, this is actually starting to fill so just adjust its dimensions a little bit so that it appears straighter now apply this turbulent displace effect on this straight line as well and uh, change its amount to a uh, 20 and its size you have to decrease a little bit to around 75 now this is looking good now what we're going to do is go back to the very first frame in time expand the shape layer one go to contents shape one delete the fill one from here go to stroke one and change its line cap from butt cap to a round cap now go to add in shape layer one and add a trim parts expand it keyframe the value of end at a zero percent move forward to the point where this animation is just beginning to show now uh, just keyframe the value of end to a hundred percent now as your animation is about to complete that is around here change the value of end a little bit keep it around 43 percent now move forward a few frames this is where our animation is complete and here change the value of end to a zero percent now if we just preview our animation then So this is what we have got and it looks pretty cool to look at. Now once you're happy with your animation, you can just grab all these keyframes and easy use them. Now our shape layer 1 animation is complete as well. Now at about 2 seconds in timeline, our animation is complete. Now if you want some text to appear, so uh, just go back to your text tool and click anywhere on your composition and type in any text that you want. I have typed logo now align it to the center both horizontally and vertically uh, first of all you gotta pre-compose this and call it as text then uh, hit T to bring up opacity keyframe the value of opacity to a 0% move forward to about 2-3 frames in time and change the value of opacity back to 100% now uh, what we are going to do is just pre-compose this text and liquid pre-composed layer together again now uh, move forward a few frames in time press s to bring up scale keyframe the value of scale at a hundred percent move forward to about four seconds in time and this is where our animation is going to be complete and increase the value of scale to 150 percent now if we just go back to the very first frame and preview whole of our animation from the very beginning then this is what we have created but uh, there is uh, some issue with this shape layer so we have to just solve it the only thing that you have to do now is just uh, adjust the keyframes for this shape layer so that it appears in line with the animation that you have created. So now we have adjusted the keyframes for this uh, shape layer and our final animation is now looking as this.
So this is how you create a liquid fill animation in Adobe After Effects. And I hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial. So keep watching the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge for more such tutorials. Till then, goodbye.